Have you seen that uh, switch gun ad on Facebook? Supposedly it's for a real switch gun, but the truth is, it's fake. It's just a toy. Do y'all know what a switch gun is? Let me show you. This is the box that the switch gun comes in. Hello. Yeah, there we go. This is the switch gun. Now, I'm not going to say that it isn't kind of neat, but here's the thing. This is sold, this is advertised and sold as a real switch gun. So a switch gun, you know, sure. got a little button there. Bam. <laughs> the way this ad works, I mean, this is really clever on the Chinese parts, because that's what this is. This is just a, you know, $2 Chinese toy. It uh, has some 22, almost 22 caliber bullets. They get, these little bullets are spring-loaded, and then it's got these little red uh, plastic bullets that go inside the, the shell casing, and you put it in you load this thing up and it's supposed to shoot them out. But I'm more uh, talking about what the ad is and how clever these Chinese con artists have figured out how to get your money and chances of you getting a refund extremely slim and here's why. It's not that they won't refund your money, they will but you've got to send this back to them. Now, the first thing is the ad claims that you're buying a real 22 caliber switch gun. And it shoots 22 long rifle or 22 magnums. Well, this little toy right here does not shoot anything with a 22 caliber in it. I mean, if you, if you put, if, you could you could try to put a 22 in this but it won't fit 22 long rifle is too short it will fit in the cylinder but it's too short and a 22 magnum uh, is too long so even if you could uh, macgyver this thing to shoot i don't think you'd want to well i wouldn't you might i'm not but anyway, let me tell you how these Chinese con people rip us Americans off. And as much as I don't like them, I have to say, well, they are clever. They have figured out how to work this system. So they run this ad on Facebook and it's totally bogus. They show uh, a person shooting a real switch gun. And a real switch gun costs 450 to $650. So they got videos on there and the guy's bam, 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 bam. And you, you know, you're watching the video and you're thinking, wow, man, this is cool. But how much is this? Because they only want $49.95, you know, $50 for a $450 gun. So that doesn't add up right there. And then they're going to ship it to you with 12 bullets and ship it right to your door. Well, here in America, we all know uh, you cannot <laughs> mail order, uh, you know, pistols and rifles. It, it, you know, only if it's a federally licensed uh, gun dealer, then, you know, it has to go to them and then you, you go to them and pay them and get it. So you can't get things shipped to your door. And we all know that, but these Chinese have, um, they've gotten clever enough that they just work off the good old American greed. And uh, 
let's face it, we Americans are greedy. There's just no doubt about it. Also, I think I need to say this. This is a toy. This is not a real gun for YouTube, you know, so YouTube doesn't <laughs> whack, whack my video. It's a toy. It's not a gun. Uh, it's not a real pistol. It feels like a real pistol. Anyway, let's get back to how clever these Chinese are, because here's what they do. They tell you, yep, yeah, we're going to send this to you. You send us $50, shipping is free, and we're going to get it to you. And then, of course, when you click on, you know, buy now, pay for it, they promote, do another promotion trying to get you to buy a second one, you know, at half price or whatever. But you're using PayPal to pay for it. So you think, well, you know what? Even if I'm going to get ripped off, uh, I'm using PayPal. And PayPal stands behind things. So, you know, it, it's probably a pretty secure deal here. So you go ahead and you buy it. So here's what the Chinese do. They do send you a tracking number and they tell you in their ad, if you buy this, we, you know, we're going to send you a tracking number and they do. As soon as you purchase it, I mean, you get an email confirmation telling we got your order and blah, blah, blah. A tracking number will follow. And then they, uh, it takes a few days, but you end up getting a tracking number. Now the tracking number is bogus as hell. Um, the tracking number that they sent me showed that uh, that these toys were moving through this, the mail system in, over in London, England. Well, they never were. But you can get the real tracking number off of your PayPal account and you can follow the tracking there. And, you know, going through China Post. And it takes about a week and a half for you to receive your toy switch gun. Once you get it, uh, you open it up and, you, and, this, and you know, this is what you see, a little toy gun. And like I said, well, it is kind of neat. So you go, well, okay, I took a chance. I'm going to ask for a refund. So you go into PayPal and, you know, start your, uh, your claim with them and uh, answer their questions and all this stuff. They'll ask you, are you willing to send this back? Well, of course you are. But now here's the deal. When you receive this in the mail, you look at the address. This is the address that it was mailed from. It came from California. So you think, well, hey, you know, I'll just send it right back to California there. It won't cost me an arm and a leg. Yeah, it'd be reasonable and I'll get my money back. <laughs> no, not so fast. That's not how it works. Because when you file your claim in the resolution center at PayPal to get your money back, you agree to return this, then the company, which is StarCraft Network Limited, the return address is over in China. Here's the return address, just so you can see what it is. So that return address is in China. So you got to send this back to China. You know how much it costs to send this back to China here in America? About $48 and some change. So you paid basically 50 bucks for it. Now you're going to spend basically 50 bucks to ship it back. Uh, what are you going to gain? <laughs> Nothing. You'd think, well, I'll just send it to that address in, in uh, California, in Santa Fe, uh, California, that they shipped it from. Well, guess what the Chinese have done? They have that address set up so they can, it's like a distribution center, they can ship products out of there, but the postal service can't deliver there. So if you try to ship it and use that address, postal service will say, Nope, sorry, we can't, we cannot deliver to that address. And then you go, well, okay, I'll just FedEx it or UPS it. Well, sure, you can FedEx it for $22 to Santa Fe, California. The thing is, when it gets there, if the FedEx or UPS guy can get it delivered there, 
those people are not going to acknowledge that it's returned merchandise. So guess what? You just spent another $22 to, and you gave your stupid toy away that you're not going to get back. And, and these Chinese are not going to say, yeah, yeah, he sent it back, give him his refund. No, it's, I mean, it's just, what a con job. So, if you want one of these, by all means, buy it. But don't think you're going to ship it back and get your money back, because you're not. <laughs>